Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for The Amazing Spider-Man issue 789, and this is the weird lenticular cover, it doesn't change much. You get to see his old costume, and he's got a new one, but you don't really see the new one, so it's kind of a weird lenticular. But uh, let's jump into the book, but before I start talking about that, I do want to give you guys a couple updates. I do a Comic Uno episode, um, I don't even know what we're up to, 200 and something, uh, where I review all the comic books I read this week in one show. If you want to go check out the exclusive comics, that's in the description below, and the episode will be there too by Friday. But let's start talking about the comic. Uh, artwork is really well done. It is Stuart... Um, always pronounce his last name wrong, Im Imminent. Uh, Stuart Imminent's artwork, and uh, I, I usually love Stuart's artwork, um, but I feel like with the previous issues, it hasn't been as detailed as it usually is, but um, I think with this new legacy direction, it's much cleaner, and I really like the artwork here, and it really goes back to form of what I'm used to with his artwork, so I was very happy to see that. Uh, and of course, I do love the... Uh, ask me about my feminist agenda page. That was pretty awesome. Uh, so that was that was great. But let's move on to the story. So with this issue, we get to see Peter is down on his luck. So if you missed the old Parker luck, uh, you really get that here. And you get a lot of the supporting characters too. What they've been up to. Uh, you have Flash and Betty. They they have a party going on. So you see a lot of the characters there. You see uh, Harry and Liz back together, and and what's been going on with their family. You get a little glimpse of Mary Jane because of course she's invited to the party. And Peter goes to the party, but then overhears everyone like talking about him and then and feeling bad for him. He's like, I don't really want to go to this party. So he ends up going back home and uh, Mockingbird, who he's kind of going out with right now and is couch surfing with uh, because he's at her house, uh, he ends up, you know, saying, ah, oh, you know, I had a bad day. And Mockingbird's like, oh, you know, let's, let's do the superhero thing. And he realizes he kind of wants to be Spider-Man more than Peter Parker because he's having a horrible time as Peter, but he's embracing his Spider-Man uh, superhero world. And, and that's what kind of happens in this issue. And uh, this is one of the, the best issues of main Spider-Man I've read in a really long time. It, it you know, it still has the, the old framework of the Parker industry stuff, so it does feel a bit like, you know, Marvel Now, all new Marvel Now, all those, uh, all those spin-off, um, events, but it does have an old school feel to it. Uh, bringing back the, the supporting cast members, I think was very important. Even Aunt May has a bit of a piece here, uh, but it's still going in a new direction. It's still Peter going out with Mockingbird, which I don't completely get the relationship, but that opening scene was hysterical <laughs> with Mockingbird, uh, putting notes on all her food saying, this is not yours. You better do the laundry. You better do my laundry. Uh, I had such a blast with that. So if anything, I really enjoyed their chemistry there. Don't know about their romantic chemistry, but we'll see as the series goes on. So I thought this is a really solid issue. Um, I will say some of the Spider-Man stuff just felt like, oh, he needed to do something Spider-Man related. Uh, I wasn't as interested in that moment, but I understood what um, Dan Slott was going for with that scene, because obviously you need that scene of, I want to be Spider-Man more than I want to be Peter Parker. Uh, but then you have glimmers of me where this, this book's going to go. Uh, Peter does go to the Daily Bugle, which was a lot of fun, and it, it looks like he's going to be joining the science portion of that, because we get to see... Um, we get to see that he does the, the science section really well, and he oppresses people, so it looks like he might end up working at the Daily Bugle again, because we know he was going to work there, but we didn't know at what extent, so um, I'm interested to see that, uh, at least him doing something different than uh, what he's done in the past. So uh, I really felt like this brought back some old-school Spider-Man feels, and I, and I hope it keeps going in this direction. I thought this was a really solid start to the Marvel Legacy story arc. So this the Amazing Spider-Man issue uh, 789 gets four stars. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.